I said I said twelve thirty, and we're a little after that because of the work on the sound thing. But that's going to take way too long. So we're going to have to have them do that after court today. <laughs> okay, let's get the jury in. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Slayers, did you have a good lunch? Yes. All right, good deal. And is your head feeling a little bit better? A lot better. All right, good deal. Mr. Sledge, I want to just um, and judge if I broach an area that the court has told me to move from, I'll quickly move from. Mr. Sledge, are you able to tell me what you remember about April 28, 2015? What happened on that day? Uh, everything you can remember today. Do you want him to tell you about the entire day? He don't. He, I don't. And so the judge is helping me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, starting from the point where you learn about Mr. Garlington getting jumped at the club, will you tell the ju jury, not the judge, the jury, everything you remember about it? <laughs> is that all right? Yeah, I guess. Okay, thank you. From my understanding, like, he got jumped on the club, then we, I left the club, he called me back. We went and picked up a gun, I'm gonna say, I wanna say Zachary, and then we went, I don't know the name of the apartment. Okay. And then we, I wanna say we traveled back down as that, traveled back around as that. I, I didn't hear. I didn't hear you. I said we, once we went to the apartments and then we went back to the house. It's, I think that's what I said. Um, Take your time, and you do not have to. I'm not trying to get you to match up anything. Okay? Um, I asked her like, it been long for that, Miss. Oh uh, Lord, so. It's okay. 
Take your time. If you have anything you can refresh, you can refresh my memory. But right now, I don't recall. Um, all right. Try my best. And that's all I ask, okay? Yes. So I'm not going to try and trip you up. I just wanted whatever you remember today in terms of. <laughs> all right. I have not asked the next question. Okay. Do you remember whether you went to the house first or to the apartment first? I don't remember. I can't exactly tell you, but I don't recall exactly how I think. Okay. And the house that we're talking about, is that the one off, on M off near MLK, off Adele? I want to say that's the only house I remember going to. I okay. don't remember. And where were the apartments that you remember going to? I don't remember exactly where they was. I just know they was in a gated area. I don't think they had a gate when you gotta go through the gate. That's okay. all I remember. Do you remember whose they were? Whose apartments they were? Like, why were y'all going there? I was, I think I was have been dropping Zachary off. Okay. Did his girlfriend live there? I don't think she stayed there, but she was there. All right. Now, was, was there any shootings that went on there? Did you see somebody else shooting or anything happening there? Yes, I think that's what it was. They were shooting when we pulled up. Okay. Now, what, I know you don't get scared easily, but did you consider that sort of a startling sight to see somebody shooting at the apartment? For me, it was normal. So I, I can't speak for no one else, but Fair for enough. my spirit, it was normal. All right. And were they shooting at the apartments that you were sending or taking Mr. Zachary to? I don't know if it was the exact apartment, but it was right there in that area. All right. Now, in terms of shooting, what? How could you tell the jury because they weren't there? Do you see guns pointing out a window or just like fire flashes? What is it that lit? I you just seen the fire flash in front of okay. the car. Okay. Okay. And were you um, right up on the car? Like, or were you like coming in the gate and you saw fire flashes from like across? I pulled the car? directly in front of the car and then I bad back. Okay. When you pulled directly in front of it, had the shooting begun already? No, they was doing it. Okay. Did you realize they were doing it when you pulled directly in front of it? Did... No, it's like when we got there, then it started happening. Okay. Okay, so for, for people who aren't you, that might have been considered a little scary. So what did you do when you heard the shooting behind you going on? I banned out. Okay. Did you back out and, like, quickly leave? No, I got back to safety. Okay. And where were Mr. Garlington and Mr. Zachary when you did that? Did you, um, did they run inside, stay with you? No, they got out the car. All right. And did you see, did you see what happened? No, I was I was around the building, so I didn't really get out the car to see what was going on, but I bagged up behind the people. Okay. Did you have to pull around the car to get in front of it? Or did you... Um, no, it's a straight shot. Car? It's just a straight shot through the parking. Okay, so is it fair... Did the car pull up behind you then? What you mean? Did I understand you to say that you ended up in front of the car that was shooting? That means they was probably bag being facing like coming out and I'm coming in. I gotcha. Okay. Did you notice what kind of car it was? No. Right. And did you have a belief as to who it was that was in that car? I didn't know who it was. Okay. Did you later form a belief as to who it was that was in that car? No, I don't recall. All right. Did you all do anything based on who y'all believe might have been in the car? I really answered that question. I Did answered that question what, two days ago when I told you about it. Um, okay. Uh, forgive me. I had a long weekend. <laughs> Could you tell me what you all did based on what you all believed or who you all believed was in that car? There's nothing more that happened as a result of it, I promise. I don't know who was in the car. I didn't, at the time, I didn't know who was in the car. I still don't know if that was true, what was told to me, so. All right. And that was told to you by Mr. Zachary or somebody else? Well, it was told by other people, too, so. Okay. Other people that were there with you? In the street, you know, in the streets. Like, when things happen, they be talked about in the streets. Okay. 
Did you all react immediately or did, did it take a few days or something different? I don't know. I couldn't really tell you because I told you I was behind a building, so I couldn't actually see what was going on. All right. Okay. At any point, did you think that if game was involved in that? I don't know because I told you from the night that he got jumped on. I didn't even see who jumped on him. Right. So I don't know. I don't recall. I can't, I can't say that. Okay, that's fair. I'm not asking you if they were. I'm just... Judge, may I be allowed to ask the question? Yep. Thank you. I'm just asking you at any point if you believe they were, not whether you know, not whether they were, just at any point. Did you no, know? I don't believe. I don't believe. All right. Now, we talked last week about um, Antrevia Smith. And you talked a little bit about that on cross-examination, your relationship with Ms. Smith. The Kelvin Watts who started dating Ms. Smith after you did, was that the same Kelvin Watts that had a beef with Kenneth Copeland? I don't really know if him and Kenneth Copeland had a beef or not. Okay. So you... Did you ever learn or were you ever, did you ever discuss any kind of beef that Kenneth Copeland had with Kelvin Watts? Uh, I, don't, I don't recall if we ever discussed this all uh, love. I don't recall. Okay. But is it fair to say that, the, let me ask you a better question so I'm not losing. Is the Kelvin Watts that started dating Ms. Smith after you did was he also called Shell Kale? Yes. All right, thank you. And do you know if Shell Kale, um, did you consider him having any family relationship to Donovan Thomas Jr.? I never knew they was, how long I've been knowing Donovan Thomas, I never knew they was, had any relationship. All right. How long did you say you knew Shell Kale? If you said it already, forgive me. I don't know. He went outside when I was outside. He probably came outside. I started hearing about his name in 2015. Before then, I never knew him. Okay. When you say came outside, help, help me and the jury know what you mean. Whenever he started hanging outside, I didn't know, know him before then. So, um, based on that answer, did he start hanging outside around 2015? I don't know, Ms. Love. I'm saying that's when I started hearing his name in the street. Other than that, I don't know. All right. When you heard his name in the street, did you hear his name associated with If Gang, sir? No, not when I first started hearing his name. At any point later on, did you hear his name associated with If Gang? Yeah, maybe, yeah. All right. Now, do you remember whether that was after 2015, like 2016, 17, or during about 2015? I don't really recall because it was late. In it probably was late in 2015, but Thank I don't you, know. Sir. All right. All right. Now, you were shown some <clears throat> dates in a book um, by Mr. Williams' attorney. I'm going to approach with the court's permission and with your permission. Is that all right? All right. So, did you testify or a better question is, did you participate in every um, performance in 2015 that the Travis Scott rodeo tour included? No. All right. And do you remember when um, Mr. Steele was up here reading these dates to you and you were saying, yeah, you see them on the page? Yeah. All right. Now, would you tell the jury if these dates are dates that you were actually at the location indicated on this piece of paper? Yeah, most of them. Okay. Are you able, as we sit here now, to tell the jury just, you can point them out and then read them out after you do. The dates that you did go to? I don't know all the dates. I know exactly what day that I left that tour. 
Okay. I don't know the exact date, but I know what state I was in. Fair enough. So did the tour, the tour did not start until after January 10, 2015. Is that right or wrong? That might be right. Okay. Did you do you know of any tour date on this tour that you were talking about with Travis Scott that started before February 28, 2015? I don't know the exact date, so at least I'm looking at the book. Yeah. Do you know anything before February 28, 2015? Yeah, you can turn however you want to look at it. No, the first date is uh, February 28, 2015. Okay. Yes. And to your memory, is that the very first day of this Travis Scott tour? Yes, for my memory. All right. Now, um, this tour, uh, when we say Travis Scott tour, who was the headliner? Was was Mr. Williams the main attraction? Um, or was Mr. Scott or somebody else? Mr. Scott was. Okay. Now, was he a major performer, and you got to forgive me because I don't know Travis Scott, okay? Come on. I'm not lying. I don't. Was he a major performer? I'm older than you believe, and you're going to have to forgive me. Come on. I'm dead serious. No, no, no. You know, don't be mad at me if I'm laughing at you. I'm not I, mad at you. you just listen to what I'm telling you. Okay. I know a lot of people know he's a big major artist. Okay. All right. And is he um, a rapper, a singer, um, a musician or something? Else? I don't really. I think he do like, is it like rock or something like that? I don't really know. Okay. All right. Um, so he's a, a big performer. And did you go on that very first um, tour date on Saturday, February 28, 2015 that's listed on the book? I just told you, yes. Thank you. Were you head of security for Defendant Williams on that day? Hmm, I want to say, I can't, I don't recall if I was or not, was I head of security, but I did a lot of different things on it too. All right. Okay. Thank you for that. Now that was, was that rather, was that in Santa Ana, California? Yes, that was the book was there. All right. And is that your independent recollection, apart from what the book says? I don't really remember. I could just go by the booklet and know the actually day and what state it was in. Okay. Um, and so, does looking at the booklet uh, make you remember, or do, are you just relying on the booklet to be right? I knew the booklet was right. I had one myself. Okay. In that time. All right. Do you remember who else within YSL went on this tour? It was a lot of us. I don't recall everybody who was there. Was it? I'm sorry. It was a, it was multiples, so I don't recall everybody who was there. Was that the first time you had gone to Santa Ana, California? Maybe not, but okay. with 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 a with a, a major upcoming artist it was. Now, were you all um, with YSL, were you all like traveling with Mr. Scott or were you all traveling separately? How did that work? We traveled se separately. Okay. Mr. Scott, not my friend. Understood. Understood. When you got to the venue, wherever that was, um, did you all stay in the same location as Mr. Scott or separately? I can't remember. They normally have different dress rooms, so I don't recall. All right. And did you stay overnight or did you all just perform and leave? You perform and leave. Right. At least he had to be there more than one day. So I don't know if this book would say two days. Sometimes we stay two, three days in the same state. So you might go to Dallas. You might go to Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, but stuff like that. So. And was Mr. Stillwell um, with y'all on this tour February 28th, 2015? I think so. What about Mr. Kendrick? I think so. All right. Anybody else in this courtroom that would have been with y'all then? No, I know her. All right. Now, um, March 1st, that's listed here. Did you go on that one too? March 1st? Mm-hmm. I was there every day except the day that I told you that, well, the state I remember that I went home. Okay. 
So, um, are you able to say just from memory where or which ones um, you remember performances occurring at? I'll give you the book. I can't remember all that. Okay. I don't recall all that. All right. On the days that are listed as travel days, are you able to tell the jury if you all actually traveled on those days or were there some days that you all traveled on different days? Probably actually that day because you had to be in another state before you perform. You have, it was a time limit, so like we had to stay on the time limit. Okay. Are you able to tell this jury with 100% certainty whether or not Mr. Williams performed at every show reflected on this tour schedule? I can't say that because I got sent home on a certain date. So I didn't finish the whole tour, so I can't say that. Okay. I didn't see him perform, but like, it was like until I got sent home, I seen him perform. Without looking at the book, and I'm going to show you the book in a minute, but without looking at the book, are you able to say the date you went home? I can't tell you the date. I remember what state it was. Okay. Looking at the book, will that help you remember when you went home? And does that schedule just consist of that one page or is it two pages? It's one page. Oh. I remember right here. Okay. You... I got my finger pointed at it. Okay. Can you read out the, the, the date? The day? It was the... Thursday, March 26, 2015. Okay. Thank you. Are you able to tell the jury with 100% certainty whether on every tour day, Prior to Thursday, March 26, 2015, Defendant Williams performed at every performance listed on this sheet of paper. Not after that date, yeah, but that date, yes. That's that's the last show I was at. What I'm asking is, before you got sent home, before you went home, right? Every show day he performed. Every show day? Yeah. Okay. Do you recall who all was at the shows that he performed at every day before March 26, 2015? No, I don't recall that. After you got sent home, did you make any effort to follow what was going on as he toured? No. So when you got home, did you just kind of blank out and not listen uh, to or anything? I, I enjoyed myself with my family. Okay. Did you speak with or talk to or communicate with Defendant Williams or any other member of YSL who might have been touring with him? No, because I was trying to get family time in, so I didn't call and see what Mr. Williams had going on. I was more focused on my kids. When you got sent home, would you tell the jury how it was that you were sent home, like by bus, train, plane, car? I don't even as you think he sent me home. I requested that I was ready to go home, but I went by plane. Oh, okay. Did you, um, was that request have, did that request have anything to do with your family? What happened? No, what? I was just ready to get home and see my kids at the time. Fair enough. Um, did anybody else leave at the same time you did on, was it March 26, 2015? I don't recall who all left at, at certain time because everybody didn't leave and go the same way they kept on the plane. Okay. Um, was defendant still well still with Mr. Williams on this rodeo tour of Travis Scott's I, when you left? Do you I remember? Don't, I don't recall that Mr. Williams and Mr. Steele went home or he stayed on tour. I don't recall. All right. Do you have any memory about Mr. Kendrick and how long he stayed? No, I believe Mr. Kendrick stayed the whole while. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. Kendrick was like a backup hype man or something at the time. Was a backup hype man. He was on stage with him performing. Okay. Was um, Mr. Copeland with him? Do you know? No, I don't remember Mr. Copeland. Uh, what about Mr. Zachary? Uh, I think Mr. Zachary had got sick. He went on way before. Was um, Mr. Uh, Stevens with him? 
Mm, I don't recall. What about Mr. Uh, Garlington? Was he with him? Mm -hmm. I don't recall. So without me going down a list of people you don't recall, can you tell the jury if there's anybody else you recall being on this tour of Travis Scott's with you and other YSL people? No, I don't recall. DK, Walter Murphy, was he at ever any point on this tour? I don't recall. All right. Do you recall ever being on tour with Mr. Murphy? I think I was at one point in time, but I, I don't recall when he left. I don't recall that. Okay. I won't say that he was never on this tour. Yes, sir. But I don't recall when he left off the tour. Okay. Now, is this tour that you're just pointing to, is that the only tour that you've um, accompanied Defendant Williams on as, as either head of security or something else, or is there any other tour that you can tell the jury that you were, or were a part of? From, from, from my understanding, what I know, I only know about two tours. I don't forget what the second tour nine was, but I was there. Was that after or before the one? It was with after. Do you remember how long after? Mm, it probably 2019, I want to say. Okay. And was it in the States or was it like in other countries or something different? We went to Atlanta, but it was different states. And I think like on the tour, he did go to another country at one time. Say it for me one more time, sir. I think he did go out the country. Mm -hmm. On one of the dates. I just don't remember what day. All right. Do you remember whether he was the headline by 2019? Yes, he was headline. Okay. And did he have other artists performing with him? Yes, his artists. All right. Besides people from YSL, like with this, he was performing with Travis Scott. Did he have some other people besides YSL performing with I him in 2019? Say I don't want to, I don't remember the guy's name. Uh, it's Kelly, some, something like that. I think it's something like that. I don't, I don't want to use the term of what his race is, but his name <laughs> Kelly or something like that. Was, it, was he my race? No. Okay. He was his race. He was his race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since you, you want right. me to see. You're all right. That's all right. Yeah. All right. Was it Machine Gun Kelly? That's who it is, Machine Gun. Okay. Kelly. All right. I'm not familiar with all the rappers, but. Okay. But Mr. Williams was the top line and Machine Gun Kelly, Kelly was, was yes. with him. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, is it, am, am I reading correctly that this rodeo tour lasted February 28, 2015 to April 3rd, 2015? That's what it's saying. The book is, that's what it is. And you can look on um, other pages if you need to. I don't to. think it's going on other pages. I don't really know. Okay. But yeah, that's that's the end of date. Okay. So um, is it is it your memory that after April 3rd, 2015, where it says travel home, there was no more rodeo tour? No, there was no more rodeo tour. Okay. When you work on the tour in 2019, do you have a rough estimation of how many places, how many cities y'all visited? No, it was a lot. Okay. And do you have any idea of who all within YSL would have accompanied you uh, and Defendant Williams on that tour with Machine Gun Kelly? I don't recall everybody who was with us in this door. That's fair enough, Mr. Sledge. Do you recall anybody though? Um, first, I remember that. I know Mr. Kendrick was there. Okay, okay. What about Mr. Steelwell, 2019? Just I don't even remember what Mr. Steelwell. No, okay. I don't think. Oh, Just, oh, whoa, whoa, let me bag up. Yes or no? Don't let tell me, bag, me. Can I bag up? I don't even think Mr. Kendrick was there. I'm sorry for that. Okay. That's I don't okay. think Mr. Kendrick was there. Okay. Um, was Mr. Murphy there to your knowledge? No, no, no. I don't recall. All right. What about Mr. Zachary? I don't recall. Okay. And did you all, you and Mr. Williams, y'all stay at the same hotel and things like that on that tour? 
Yes, I, I was basically, every way it went, probably like, my room was like next to here, probably up on the floor. Okay. Now, when you talked about earlier, knowing Mr. Williams' music, but you can't recall all these songs, uh, are you familiar about any YSL members that he talked about in his songs? I don't recall. You got anything to refresh my memory? You can't. All right. Do you have any memory of any songs that Mr. Williams referencing a woman getting robbed by a tick? Oh, I, I, I do. So I blank her and she get, she get robbed by a tick. I don't recall. That one was in the early time. I don't recall that song. Okay. When you say in the early time. I'm saying like in the beginning of his career. I don't. I don't recall that song, though. For you, can you tell the jury what you consider the beginning of the career, the earlier part that you wouldn't remember, just so they have a frame of reference? Probably, uh, I guess around his early career, I can't give you no know, exactly a year. De okay. Um, 2014. Um, even if you tell me, you don't got it in front of me, I can't tell you. All right. Okay. What about Lil Woody popping at your night? That sound familiar? Yeah, I think that was on the song. Do you remember what song that was on? I want to say halftime, if I'm not mistaken. Any idea when halftime dropped? No, I don't. I don't remember exact what year halftime dropped. Either. Okay. Um, do you remember around like 2014, 2015? I don't remember that. Okay. Were you working as head of security during that time? I don't recall it because I don't know what year. I can't answer that for you because I don't know what year it came out. Okay. In March 2015, um, you said you went home around March. What was March? Well, that was Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. After that show, I went home. Okay. All right. All right. So it would have been the next day that I went home. Okay. All right. So I didn't travel to the next state. Was. All right. All right. So March 26th. 2015 in Phoenix, Arizona, you would have gone home like March 27th, that Friday. Yeah, that morning. That morning, okay. All right. Did you ever hear, sir, you want to see it again? No, no. All right. Did you ever hear um, while you were there before you went home on March 27th, did you ever hear Defendant Williams um, refer to any other artists in his music while he was on stage? Other than Travis Scott. I don't recall because I don't recall all the songs he performed. Okay. Um, did you ever hear him diss anybody on stage? I don't recall. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to say the word, but I hate to do it, but I'm going to ask. Did you ever hear him call anybody a bitch on stage? I don't know. He probably said bitch in a lot of songs. I ain't going to say that. He called no one no bitch. I never heard he don't call nobody a bitch on stage. Okay. And did you ever hear him refer to anybody um, substituting one part of their name for the word bitch? No. Okay. When we were talking about that video with you, Mr. Zachary, um, back last week, the video, I'm sorry, I'm switching gears. I'm switching. Here, there, 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 there. But I ain't that's gonna be aggressive. You, but that's how you confuse me. You you go to one subject and then you jumping all the way left field. All right. I'm gonna try and spore you. Last week when you and I were talking, do you remember me putting up a video of you and Mr. Zachary and um one or both of you had a gun and you were saying something like, We're not going back and forth. And you were talking about Kale in the video. Right. All right. Um, 
when you were, do you remember when it was that you filmed that video? Not posted it, but filmed it. I don't recall when we filmed it. Okay. And when you were filming that video, um, do you, or are you, do you remember saying that at any time that it wasn't about a girl? I don't think we never even mentioned a girl name in the video. Okay. So is, is it fair to say, or is your testimony that it, the, the, the stuff you said to Kale wasn't about no girl? I don't recall. I can't say it, bro. I don't recall. Come, you saying what I see? I don't recall because I ain't say nothing about my girl in the video. That's fair. All right, but do you remember the video? I remember we made the video, but I don't remember what I said in the video. Mr. Iyer, you able to pull up that video? What number was that? Four. Four forty one. All right. We're gonna play four forty one for you. One more time. Talking to when you said and whoever else. I, I just said whoever else. All right. Now, what were you meaning to tell Kel? I wasn't meaning to tell him nothing. Okay. I well, said what I said in the video. All right. Which was we're not going back. I ain't home. going back and forth with him. All right. I ain't say them. I said him. Right. Was he trying to go back and forth with you about something? If you want to be honest, they were saying that he was looking. For me about trees, so okay. that's that's the whole thing. So when he didn't respond to me when I DM'd him, I made sure he was gonna be able to see what I was saying. What uh, did you DM Kale? I DM him. Don't got no problem with him about no girl. Okay, and when um did did uh to your knowledge did Kale say something about Mr. Zachary? I don't know. No, 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 I can't recall if you said anything about Zach. I don't know. Then I'm going to have to fall to my country roots and ask you, what, what was Mrs. Zachary doing up in there with y'all? I don't know. They were just being silly in the video, too. It was all silly. It wasn't in that serious. Because when I seen Kale, they ain't do nothing to me. And I, and I ain't do nothing to him. So it wasn't that serious. So for you putting guns on the, on the internet, ain't that serious? Is that fair? No, no longer shot, so okay. I don't think it was that serious a video. Okay. All right. You know, I also walk around with guns all day, it ain't that serious. All right. <sighs> when you orient you back to the rodeo tour, not trying to switch up and, See, and change was, it and confuse that was, you. That was your first friend, yeah. You went from hell to down, 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 down. I'm trying to get past it and go and fast. I'm trying to stay focused with you, but you started throwing me off. All right. Come on. When we're talking about the rodeo tour, you said you had to go home. 
um, but you were working. Did you have any kind of contractual obligations you had to fulfill before you went home? He don't let me go home anytime I wanted to, no matter what the contract was. He don't okay. let me go home. If I tell him I want to go home and see my son, he'll okay. be like, he'll let me go home. All right. And did um, did you have someone to replace you when you went home? Yes, I was head of security, so that means I only choose the security. All right. That don't mean I was dead security. All right. Head of security just mean like I could come say, we're going to get Miss Love, we're going to get him, we're going to get her, we're going to okay. get Mr. Right. And if one of you don't do right, mm -hmm. I just say, we'll give him a plane ticket. Did you have responsibility for sending folks home to act it up on the tour? No, I don't have responsibility to it. Okay. Now, on cross-examination, going back to... Is where I am. Thank you. This is uh, Defendant Williams number 255, right? Yes. All right. You told Mr. Steele that you had seen that. You recognized that before, yes. right? Where had you seen that? If I am mistaken, man, when it, when, it, when it was posted and added, I want to say, man, Mr. Williams was the joke. When it was posted and added, y'all were together? When it, yeah, when the guy added him, me and was together. Okay. That's why I remember this post. And we, both, and we were both like, I think he was going to try to use it in a song or something, but he did. I you, don't know. Okay. Are you familiar with D-Mac, Got Me Too Bang? I don't know him personally, no. I don't know him. Now, where was it that you saw it? I want to say that was Twitter or something at the time, if I am mistaken. Now, are you posted? I mean, are you tagged on this tweet too? No, oh, where are you getting at? The jury doesn't know, so I'm just asking. You showed that they presented it, and they right. see I'm not tagged on them. So when you say that you and Mr. Williams were together, were you looking at his we, Twitter account? Yeah, we were sitting there looking at the phone together. At Mr. Williams' phone? Yeah. All right. I'm going to pull up what I will mark for you as state's exhibit number four. <laughs> Judge, I'm going to, for the purposes of this, um, Question, mark the clip that I'm going to show as State's Exhibit 447. I'm sorry, 449. And it is from 103.30 to 108.17 of Mr. Sledge's testimony on September 5th. 2024, when I asked about the video of Defendant Williams speaking into the camera, so, talking about they lied to their mama. September 24th? Last week. Oh. Just last week. I was going to say, I don't know. Yeah. Just take a look at it, if you will. I will. Okay, thank you. I'm not trying to give you no hard time. Thank you for trying not to give me a hard time. Take a look at it. Yeah. My apology. Yes. Miss um Mr. Steele, do you mind coming over to Mr. Knight, Miss Knight, so <laughs> so that she can show you what we're about to show. Anybody else? Any of the other and anybody, attorneys? yes. And judge, so that our record is very clear, it will be 449 Yankee. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for not giving me a hard time. I don't want to. I just want to get up, get out of here. All right. I don't want to give you no hard time. Okay. Is it done?
Judge, just so that the court is aware, um, we're making it available, but we're playing it through the transcript so that the volume isn't overheard by anybody else in the courtroom. And with the court's permission, I'm just going to sit while they're looking. No, I'm good.
Mr. Steele, is that right? <laughs> Did you want to approach oh, about a particular section? I mean, did you, is there, do you want to? I would like to because you guys are Oh, okay. All right. Do y'all need a break at all? Okay. <laughs> Jesus, my boy. Pledge, I'm going to put in front of you a portion of your testimony that we have uh, and will mark as 449 Yankee just for the purposes of the record. And I want you to listen to it. It will be approximately two minutes. And after you hear it, would you just tell me if you remember that? I don't want to ask you just straight out if you remember something, okay? <laughs> I don't mind, Judge. I'll tell him if you don't have to give me a second. Hold on. Okay.
Judge, that will be from time 103, 1 colon 03 colon 30 to 1 colon 08 colon 17. Yes, a little more than two minutes. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> Me and my bad man.
It ain't bad, but you can get it. I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. You just want to stop saying no. Just like
Yes. Mr. Slitch, having heard what you said when I asked you about states 449 Yankee, do you recall my showing you the video of Defendant Williams looking into the camera? talking about they lied to their mama. Yes. All right. And do you recall me asking you whether that was your voice in the video? I told you it sounded like my voice. And do you recall me pressing you, asking you, was that you? When you just showed me the video, I see now, but, but that's why when I told you it sounded like me. I thought you just took it as that was me because I told you it sounded like me. And the only way it could sound like me, I had to be there in the room. Did you, do you recall telling me that you did not remember being in the room? I, I see on the video I did, but like I said, you were pressuring me so much that day too. I just, my mind just was everywhere. And when I asked you if that was you specifically who said snitching bitches. I said, yes, that was me. That was my voice. Sound like my voice. That's what I said. Did you ever acknowledge, though, that that was you in the video? I said it sound like my voice. So, yes, I acknowledge that with me if I said it would sound like my voice. If it, I ain't said it sound like Miss Lowell and I said it sound like me, that record, that, to me, that saying it's me. Do you recall me asking you where you were? I said, I, and I told you I didn't remember who house it was, but I did. I said, that sounded like my voice. Do you recall me asking you who all was in the room? I don't recall you asking me that. I ain't hear that on that meeting. Okay. Do you recall me asking you the names of anybody else that was there? Not I recall you didn't ask me about nobody. You was on the Pacific asking me about my voice. That's what I remember. And do you recall at some point telling me, I'm not saying that it's me, I'm just saying it sounds like me, so I can't tell you. Yeah, I told you it sounded like my voice. That's all I remember telling you. It sounded like my voice, so. I know if it sounded like my voice, I just thought you would say, yeah, that's him. He said it sounded like his voice. Do you remember Doug's attorney showing you the same video a day later? Yes. Do you remember him asking you, was that you in the video? Yes. Do you remember telling him, yes, that is you in the video. Yes, because I had the day to think about it, and then I was like, yeah, when I was still playing in my mind when you showed it to me, and then I thought about it, I was like, yeah, that is me in the video saying it. It's my voice. Is that the video that you were thinking of when you were talking to me back in June with your attorney, Lieutenant Lansico? And myself, I am Fayette. I don't even remember you asking me about that video, Ms. Lowe. Do you remember me telling you on direct or asking you on direct about a video where I asked you if you had seen or did you know the video where they say you lie to your mama, you lie to your kids, and you said that wasn't me? No, I, I remember telling you, I didn't see me in the video. I seen Mr. 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 William in the video, but I don't recall the statement you make. Thank you. And do you recall me asking you then, where had you seen that video before we met in Fayette? I don't recall, but I just heard it. Something about you asked me that. And I told you, I seen it before time and I seen it recently. Now, between the time I showed it to you and the time that Mr. Steele showed it to you, did you go look at it and listen to it again? No. All right. 
And so what happened that made your memory precise about not just the fact that it was you, but where exactly it was shot? I'll clear it up. Bad question. Do you remember telling Mr. Steele where that video was taken? I don't recall Mr. Steele even asking me where I was taken. I don't even recall him asking me that. Your Honor, did, could I object at this point, 403? Did, I'm not, I mean, could, we've all heard the testimony, so whether he remembers it or not at this point is not really the issue. Can you just ask the questions you intend to sure, ask Your him? Sure, Thank you. Mr. Sledge, why did you remember who all was in the room when the video was shot when Mr. Steele asked you the question. I just told you, when you asked me, I didn't remember. But when I left that day, mm -hmm. and I thought about the video, and then I realized everybody's voice who was in the video. Okay. And what about the time or the date that the video was shot? What Did you remember that too after you left? You, you, he showed me the date of the video he had, and then I remember it was a repost, a uh, different date. I don't remember the date <coughs> of the repost, but I knew what he was, what he crosses down me on, I knew the answer to that question. And do you remember me asking you about what Mr., uh, what you understood Defendant Williams to be talking about when he said they lied to their mama, they lied to their sister, and all that stuff? Do you remember me asking about that? No, I don't remember you asking me that. At any point, having heard the video again today, did you hear anybody reference lying in the courtroom on that video? Yes. You heard somebody say something about lying in the courtroom? Oh, no. You said lying in the courtroom? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't even know if I just heard that, Ms. Rose, to be honest with you, but I think I did. I'm not mistaken. If you got anything, just show it to me. Your Honor, state from, uh, request permission to... Uh, play against states 440 447 Yankee that's the video that's itself okay all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so even hearing it just now, you didn't remember, right? No, if you show me again, right, that part. Okay, don't worry about the earphones. We're going to put it up on the big screen. Okay. So nigga, a lot of their mama, a lot of their kids, a lot of their brothers and sisters, they ain't get ready in the courtroom and tell God that it's true. Fuck, nigga. Don't get it. Y'all niggas ain't get fucking killed, bro. You snitching bitches. And me and wife said, I don't hear him say lying in the courtroom, though. All right. So um, when you were asked on cross-examination by Mr. Steele if that video um, talked about lying in the courtroom and you said, yeah, was that a mistake? Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't say lying. It didn't say lying in the courtroom. The voice didn't say lying in the courtroom. Okay. What, what did you understand it to be saying? What he said or what in the video it said. The video. It's something lie on God. Okay. And when Thug is talking, what is he talking about doing in the courtroom? Telling the God's honest truth? Yes. All right. And after Mr. Williams says, and you need, and you get in the courtroom and tell the God's honest truth, you need to get killed, bro. That's from me as YSL. Since you realize now that that is your voice, 
Would you tell the jury why you say snitch and bitch? Because snitch is a liar to me. Okay. Did you just not say that he said you get in the courtroom and tell the guy's honest truth? Well, I'm in the courtroom telling the God honest truth. So whatever he said, what he said. Okay. So when he talked about telling the God's honest truth in the courtroom, why did you follow that up with snitch and bitch? I just said something. There wasn't no reason to follow that up. Do you consider a person who does get in the courtroom and tell God's honest truth on their friends, snitch and bitches? No. You were also asked on cross-examination by Mr. Steele about a meeting that you had with Lieutenant Lance Cole, your lawyer, and me out in Fayette County. Yeah. You recall that? Yes. Did you let Mr. Steele know before we met that we were actually going to have the meeting? Did I let Mr. Steele know? Yeah. No, I hadn't talked to Mr. Steele before that. All right. Did you let anyone in his office know that we were going to have that meeting? No. <laughs> and afterwards, did you let him know that we had just had it? Could you be more direct what you're trying to say? I, only what I'm asking. You said, did I do what? Did you let Mr. Steele know that we had just had that meeting? When? After we had the meeting? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Did you ever let me know that you um, had that Zoom call with Mr. Steele? No, I my because my lawyer, my lawyer put the Zoom call together. I didn't put it together. Okay. Mr. Steele didn't call my phone himself and say, Mr. Sledge, what's going on? No. Okay. My attorney was on the Zoom call. Okay. And on the Zoom call, or rather, last week, Mr. Steele asked you very pointedly, if you recall, um, do you remember Mr. Steele asking you, did Miss Love, or did you tell Miss Love that Defendant Williams encouraged you to take Kenneth Copeland to the police station? I say that to you and Mr. Steele. Do you recall Mr. Steele asking, asking me that? You yes, that? yes. Do you recall Mr. Steele asking you, did Miss Love tell you, do not tell the jury that Defendant Williams encouraged you to take Kenneth Copeland to the police station? I wouldn't say it was saying like that. Hold on a minute. Do you recall him asking you that? Yes, yes. And do you recall telling him, yes, Miss Love told me, do not tell the jury that Defendant Williams encouraged me to take Kenneth Copeland to the police station? Uh, Miss, you didn't say it at, at the mean June night. You didn't say it that way. But when I brought it to your attention that Mr. Williams told me to take me and Kenneth Copeland to the police station, your exact words to me. I don't want you to say that, and I will not be asking you that question. So, at what point did I tell you not to tell the jury that Defendant Williams encouraged you to take Kenneth Copeland to the police station? You didn't use the word jury, but that's the way I took it because... From my understanding of this process, that I would be speaking to the jury to try to prove the facts to the jury, and I just thought I should come in and tell my truth. When your lawyer and you, Lieutenant Lansico, and I sat outside that coffee shop, were you in any kind of handcuffs? No. Did you come on your own? I came willingly with my lawyer. Did you leave on your own with your lawyer? Yes. All right. And did anybody try to read you any kind of rights or anything like that? No, you know that. But, I would have been but the jail. jury doesn't know that, okay? Right. So, did you feel free to say whatever you wanted to say? 
I just told you I said what I said, free him. All right. I was free to say what I wanted to say. Okay. So, did during that conversation, were you encouraged to come into the courtroom and simply tell the truth? Yes. Were you encouraged to simply tell the truth by me? You said it out your mouth that you wanted me to come in and tell the truth back. You said it out your mouth. Were you encouraged to tell the truth in front of Lieutenant Lansico and me by your attorney? Yeah. As a matter of fact, did your attorney tell you to act as if any question the state asks you, they already know the answer? So don't try to finagle anything. Tell them the truth. I don't recall him saying that in the meeting. I, I, I hate to use this. I'm not being blasphemous. But did your attorney tell you to pretend like the state is God and they know everything? No, he didn't say that. Okay. I know that. You heard me. All right. <laughs> do you, I don't know. Come do on. you remember me asking you about the video? Do you remember me asking you about the video? And you're denying being in a video where but you say you lie to your kids? I never denied the video. I said you don't see me in the video. They're my exact words. Right. That and, ain't denying the video. Okay. And do you remember after that I said, I've seen a video with you in it? You said you seen the video with me, and I said you didn't see no video with me in it. And do you remember me saying, yes, I have, but and you, you kind of smiled? At the time, you were referring to video that Mr. William posted, not the video that I posted. Because if you would have seen the video that you posted, Mr. Sledge, I would have said, yeah, that's me in that video. Mr. Sledge, did I make reference to whose video it was? Or did I just ask you about I the video? I think you made, to me, I think, I thought you, when you brought up the video with Jeffrey in it at first, then you brought up another, you brought the video up for Jeffrey. Because I told you that wasn't me. And I said, you didn't see me in no video. Okay, no problem. Now, on direct examination, do you remember as you sit here today, me asking you whether Mr. Williams encouraged you to take Kenneth Copeland to the police station? In this courtroom? In this courtroom. Yeah, you asked me the question. I figured you asked me the question because my lawyer called me and asked me, what did you, Ms. Lord, say to you in that meeting? So then when you, you told me in the, at the meeting, you wasn't going to ask me the question, but then you get in the courtroom and ask me the question. So. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> so was it that I said I'm not going to ask you that, or did I tell you not to tell the jury that? You said how I took it. When well, I how did, you took it. I just okay. need to know my words. John, it's non-responsive. Ask your next question. My words only. Did I ever tell you not to tell the jury that Defendant Williams encouraged you to talk, to tell, take Kenneth Copeland to the police station? Did I ever tell you that? You just said you didn't want me to say that. Okay. Now, you is it your testimony that I said, I don't want you to say that, or I'm not going to ask you that? In both of them. Overruled. We don't really have a clear answer. And it's your testimony that your lawyer and Lieutenant Lansico were still right there when I said these words that you heard? Yes. Yeah, so I wouldn't have said it. All right. And based on what you just testified to the jury, you gleaned from that that I didn't want you to tell the jury. I never I never used the word tell the jury. I just said exactly what you said to me. I say, Ms. Love told me that she didn't want me to say that and she wasn't going to ask me that question. Okay, so then your memory is not, you don't remember telling Mr. Steele you do not remember asking Mr. Steele saying, did Miss Love tell you do not tell the jury? If, if he said jury, I forgot I made a mistake and I should have corrected Mr. Steele if he said jury. 
But I'm telling you what you said to me and to me. I ain't saying you said don't tell it to the jury. But that's the way I took it too, because that's who I'm supposed to be talking to, right? Telling the truth to, right? right. Okay, so okay. in my way, not the lawful way, that's the way I took it. Because if somebody tell me, oh, I don't want you to tell my girlfriend this, I'm going to take it this. You feel what I'm saying? You don't want me to tell the truth. Okay. So, all right. So were you surprised when I asked you, did he encourage you to take Kenny Copeland to the police station if you thought I didn't want you to tell the jury? I'm exploring what he said his understanding was. So were you? When I asked you that question, were you surprised given that you thought I didn't want you to talk about it? I don't know. I can't recall. I don't know. Okay. All right. Now, on cross examination, Did you tell Mr. Shart that you didn't feel like you could go to trial? Or you didn't you didn't have the ability to go to trial? And I said I couldn't it. afford to go to trial. Okay. That's what that's the question he asked me. He didn't say the ability, he said afford. All right. And that that's the reason that you um, answered yes to all the questions that you answered yes to on State's Exhibit 444 um, and 1AS? I don't recall. Having had time to think about it now, do you remember and realize that your sentencing acknowledgments placed you in peril of probation revocation if you testified inconsistently with something you said was true during your plea agreement. I don't think I testified that it was, wasn't true today if I recall. Do you remember testifying on last week when I asked you specifically about portions of what you agreed to and for you to tell me if any part of it you're now testifying is false to label it false and if any part of it, if it's all true to tell me it's true. Do you remember me having that conversation with you? I remember the conversation, but you had put so much on my only recall what went on. Do you remember me putting in front of you Stacey Exhibit 447Y? And yes. You'd like a new question? <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Whether he remembers it or not is not really the relevant matter. Oh, All right. Did you testify that? I never seen Number. That. Not highlighted. All right. Did you testify that number? A two three. I put it back. This is it. 
at one is. Here it is, okay. The second part. Did you testify that, looking at this, that states is at 1AS? Did you testify that number three under defendant's factual acknowledgements is not entirely true? No, I didn't say it was not entirely true. I, I think I remember I said the part of the support of YSL and you put Kia as a rival gang member, I told you. I didn't even know he was that gang at the time. And if I made a mistake anywhere else, I made a mistake. All right. Do you remember me putting, now I have to ask, do you remember, Your Honor? Do you remember me putting States Exhibit 444Y in front of you? I don't remember you putting all these papers in front of me, but I was like. Do you remember me asking you to go over each number and if one of it is true or one of it. Oh, go ahead. Do you remember me asking you that if all of the statement is true to tell me and label it true, but that if any of it is not true to call it false? Do you remember that? I don't recall that, Ms. Love. Like I told you, you've been confusing me for so many days. You've been confusing me since I've been on this thing. So I don't know, like now, you jump from one thing to another thing. I, my brain don't move as fast as probably yours. I might don't learn as quick as you do. So I don't remember all this stuff. You putting all these papers in front of me ain't gonna make it your number. Okay. All right. So whatever you're trying to get to, get to. All right. We're just getting to the questions. So we'll take it slow. Uh, I don't remember. All right. 1AS, that is the document you signed, right? Yeah. All right. On 1AS, <clears throat> I, I don't want us to go over the right. whole direct examination. I'm not. This is supposed to be redirect. I'm not, Your Honor. I'm specifically asking questions that are related to what the witness responded to on cross. So on cross examination, the witness was asked whether he was allowed to mm -hmm. craft this, whether they were his words, whether he understood them, whether mm -hmm. he felt compelled to. I recall. And so what I'm asking now, and he was also asked on cross whether he felt between a rock and a hard mm -hmm. place. I already answered that question. So what is it that and you want to ask him? I believe that he testified on cross that one one part was feeling between the state and the other was Fulton County Jail or going back to jail. So I'm asking him about his sentencing acknowledgments and what he has stated or agreed to within the sentencing acknowledgments and what, how that squares with his rock and hard place on December 28, 2022. Okay, then ask him that, how those acknowledgments square with his rock and hard place. I don't think that's gonna get a quick answer, but I'll ask. Okay, so Mr. Sledge, how do your sentencing acknowledgments square with, <laughs> Do you understand now, that you said- Now you're thinking this so funny. No, sir, I don't. Mm -mm. You do, do you laugh? understand? Because mm -mm. I know your question ain't funny. It is not. So what you laughing for? Mr. Sledge, do you recall yeah, um, stating in your sentencing acknowledgments? I don't recall. Okay. Well, you have the paper in front of you. Would you please look at it to refresh your memory? It still don't refresh my memory. Okay. Your Honor, the state tender states exhibit 1AS as evidence of a prior past recollection recorded. Yes, it was, and it was agreed to. I object as well, Your Honor. This is not past recollection recorded. It and is. Past recollection recorded does not come into evidence. I have to get you the code section. You're right, it doesn't. He read it into the record. That's exactly right. We already read it into the record though, and I'm, not we, but you. You already read it into the record once. Your Honor, I'm asking, all right, fine. Mr. Slash, do you understand that you agreed 
that if you fail or refuse to testify to any fact that you acknowledged in this plea agreement, that such failure or refusal nullified any promise by the DA to no cross count 30 of the indictment. Objection asked and answered. Sustained. And we've already established that he adopted all of those things. So, so under understanding that as of last week, you understood the sentencing acknowledgments. It did not place you in what you call between a rock and a hard place with Mr. Sharp, as far as coming in here and testifying to something different than what you put in the factual acknowledgments. I came from my understanding. I would be able to explain the things that you wouldn't change. Mm -hmm. That was from my understanding. Okay. So now me her testify my truth and not what you put on paper and your answer. These is not my answers on this paperwork. Yeah, I did sign it, but if you would have came to me personally, like I think you should have did, and asked me this yourself, I would have told you no. Did, did you, do you, did you testify that lay low were my words and not yours when I asked you on direct examination about defendant Williams giving YSL members money to lay low after the murder of Donovan Thomas. When you asked me at that meeting, I told you he couldn't have gave YSL money to lay low because I'm the only one who stayed in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I told you he gave me money to get out of harm's way. I borrowed $300. I'm talking about in court last week. Do you remember saying, I didn't I didn't say lay low. Those were your words. That is your word. I didn't say lay low. Do that was remember? already on this paper. I never used the word lay low to you not one time. All this stuff that you 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 trying to say, it was already on the paper. You changed certain things and then we agreed. And then I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't even want to say that I got another paper that's saying you changed number eight. It went from one thing to another thing. You don't want to red flag that. No, I do. Actually. Okay. So, thank you. Because you changed the personal knowledge and I ain't changed it. Thank you for that. I would have never said yes to that. When I got to the last paperwork, I thought we had an understanding of what the emails my lawyer sent you. So, do you now remember getting multiple versions of states 444Y that was changed at your request? Not all of it. Okay. Well, let's just show you, and you tell me which ones you remember. Sure, it ain't gonna make me remember none of this stuff. Okay. I ain't gonna remember none. So, do you remember asking the state to change more than one thing on the factual acknowledgement? A lot of times. Do you remember the state making changes at your request? I don't really, I don't really know because. I seen something different today than it wasn't what I thought it was the day I agreed. Do you remember last week testifying that you hadn't seen any other document besides the one you signed? I just seen them today. Okay. I didn't see it. My lawyer was just coming, asking me, and I guess he thought the question was going to be changed, and I don't know. I don't think they were changed. Okay. Well, we'll get to that since you won't remember. That's fine.
when you were asked by Mr. Shart um, about April 28th, 2015, Jeffrey Williams, he only asked you whether Jeffrey Williams was with you in addition to you and Mr. Zachary and Mr. Garlington. Is that right? Is, it, is my memory correct? I don't recall. Okay. Did you feel on December 28th, 2022, as able as you have felt in this courtroom this week and last week to tell the judge when you needed to do something like talk to your attorney, did you feel as free to talk to your attorney or ask a request to speak to your attorney then? I don't recall. You don't? No. Okay. Is there any portion of what the jury saw in your December 28, 2022 testimony where you halted the proceedings? Or what wasn't seen? Did you ever halt the proceedings on December 28, 2022 to ask to speak to your attorney? I don't even know the words you just used. Did you ever stop and say, Judge, can I talk to my lawyer like you have today and last week? I, like I told you earlier, I ain't sitting over there. I'm sitting up here supposed to be telling my truth. And it's like, you're not accepting my truth. I wasn't sitting over there in County Blues. I was sitting over there in County Blues. I'm in Free World. So it's like, I couldn't stop and say that over there. Why Cause couldn't I, you? Because I, I don't understand that. But once I got up there, I thought I could. Because you told me that. You said, if anything you don't understand, you ain't tell me that December 28th, right? Did your lawyer? No. My lawyer didn't tell me to stop neither. So you're sitting got, next to your lawyer, did you ask him it. questions? Not I talking about what they were, but did you ask him questions at the table? Well, I, I would ask the witness to be allowed to answer the questions. Judge, I'm not asking him what was said. I'm asking him. Is the department see the what? Oh, no, that was overruled. Sitting at the table next to the lawyer you had known for 15 years. Were you able to ask him questions? I probably could have, but I didn't. And in the back, when you were with the lawyer you've known for 15 years, did you ask him questions? Yeah, I told him. Well, if he wants to share it, it's his to share. I don't want to. Sh I don't want to share it. Okay, I don't want. I don't want to share it. And I'm not asking you what. I'm asking you, want, did you? She just said I didn't have to share it. She said you didn't have to share the content. I'm asking well, I don't want to share it. I don't recall. I'm asking you, did you ask I don't the recall. I don't recall. Here you go. Are you saying that now because you're just frustrated? Here you go again. Here you go again. Here you go again. That's it. Okay, I, I disagree. Uh, the question was, were you able to ask him questions in the back? And frankly, he answered it okay. before he didn't recall. So, thank you, Judge. All right.
When you left court last week, um, did you wipe your nose at the jury? What do you mean? Just that. Did you wipe your nose at the jury? Yeah, when you asked me to do it. I mean, when you got off the stand. No. Okay. Why would I wipe my nose at the chair? Right. See, yeah. <laughs> she going too far. Until yeah. there's an objection, uh, they just ask questions. Mm -hmm. They, but all these are capable lawyers. As is your lawyer, so. Yeah, but she. I just call the balls and strikes. <laughs> you silly. All right. <laughs> I swear you. Just ready. one moment, Your Honor. She's silly. I think she's on this day. Yeah, I hope so. Before I go back left. Because the whole night I'm going to live. What do you mean? <clears throat> go back left. Arguing back and forth with you. Okay. You just being paid enough. You felt differently on December 28th, 2022. You would have changed everything. I want you to change. I probably wouldn't be going through it. You probably wouldn't have gave me the deal. If you'd have came to ask me. I don't know. I'm sick of her, man. I don't want to make you sick. Okay. Well, let me take Who a break. Who are you talking to right now? Can I take a break? Hang on just a sec. Are you, are you almost done? Because there up. are some people I, who need a restroom break. Can we just give them that break, I Your Honor, and I'll make sure that I'm on. Give them that. Yes. Let's take a break right now. <laughs> All right, we'll be in recess.